Hi everybody, this is Bonnie Barker with Bonnie Bay Crochet and today I have a very special beret that I want to make with you and this is called Cercle de Tres, which is Circle of Braids and it is crocheted with two hanks of the yarn I'm about to show you. So let me show you the outside and the inside. These can be an awful lot of fun to wear and also very warm in the winter time. Plus, you can make these in an evening. I think it took me maybe two to three hours tops to make one of these. So you could probably easily make this in a weekend. Now this is an intermediate crochet project, but don't be put off by that if you're a confident beginner and you want to learn a new stitch. Expect a mistake here and there. There's nothing wrong with that. You can just gently pull back the yarn and try again. But I encourage you, especially if you're a confident beginner, in other words, if you know the basic stitches such as chain, single crochet, double crochet, and treble crochet, you should have all the skills that you need to complete this project. Well, let me go ahead and show you what you're going to need. For this project, I'm going to be using Cascade Yarns 220 Heathers. Let's take a look at some of the stats. This is 100% Peruvian Highland wool. Each of these hanks has 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 220 yards, or 200 meters. I'm also recommending that you have a size I or 9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and as always I'm recommending that you have a yarn needle and a pair of sharp scissors handy. To begin we're going to start with a slip knot and a starting chain of four. We're going to make a circle by working a slip stitch in that very first chain and we make a very tiny circle. All right, let's go ahead and chain one. And working into the center of this circle, we're going to work nine single crochets. Okay, and those of you who were paying attention a little more closely, you can see that I also crocheted over this thread. And I'm going to go ahead and trim that right now so that I have one less strand to have to worry about. Okay, so now we have nine single crochets and we're going to join with a slip stitch to the very first single crochet of the round just like that. Now for round two we're going to chain one and starting in the same place where we joined that slip the slip stitch at the end of the last round we're going to work two single crochets in that same space and in each space around. So at the end of round one we had nine single crochets at the end of round two, you should have 18 single crochets. This is very important that you keep accurate stitch counts at this point. Actually throughout the entire project, but particularly important as we work the foundation for this hat. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a quick double check on the count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. You want to be careful not to add any stitches here, which was the join from the last time around, because that way your your stitch count will definitely be thrown off if you did that. Go ahead and join with a slip stitch. To that first stitch of the round. Chain two beginning 
for round number three. This chain does not count as a stitch in this particular design. Now we're going to work two double crochets in that same place and in each stitch around. So two double crochets in each stitch. At the end of this round, you should have 36 stitches. So go ahead and finish that out. At the end of the third round, we join with a slip stitch to that first stitch of the round. And this is what you should have so far. Now for round number four, we're going to begin the braided cable. We're going to start with a chain three at the beginning of this one. We're going to skip the first two stitches. Remember now that the chain does not count as a stitch as we work these cables. Okay, so skip these two stitches and we're going to front post treble crochet in the next two stitches. And if you've never done a front post, it's just like working a regular stitch, except instead of working through the top loops, we work the hook around the body of the stitch like you're giving it a belt. Okay, so we do those two. Now working in front of these two stitches, we're going to front post treble here and then in the next stitch beside it. Just like this. Okay, and after we do that, we're not going to skip anything. We're just going to go to the next two unworked stitches and we're going to front post treble in those next two stitches so that you can see each of the foundations for these braided cables is a six stitch um, foundation or a six stitch multiple. So we're going to do this all the way around. Skip the next two stitches, front post treble, in the next two stitches, working in front of those two stitches, we're going to front post treble in the two stitches that we skipped. The one that's furthest away first, or that appeared first in order, and then the second one that we skipped. And then simply front post treble in the next two stitches. These are the next two unworked stitches. All right, so I've done this two times, so I'm going to continue this around until we have a total of six foundations for the braided cables begun. I know they don't look like braids just yet, but as we add additional rounds, they surely will. At the end of the round, we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that very first stitch of the round, which is that first treble crochet. Let's stop and take a look at what we have. All right, now it's time to turn. This is the first turn of the project. So this is starting round five and we should have the back side facing us now. We're going to chain three. Now we're going to skip the first two stitches and the next two stitches, which are these two stitches that are the ones that are uh, on, on the surface. We're going to work back post treble crochets, very similar to front post, except we come in the back door, go around and go out the side door. So it's all on the other side facing away from us. Now this is the probably the trickiest part that I'm going to show you. After working those first two, we're going to work two back post trebles in this stitch, in this stitch, so one in each of these two stitches, and we're going to cross in front of these cables as seen from the front side of the work. So we're going to, I'm going to show you, I'm flipping it to the back. We're going to come around and we're going to work a back post around this stitch. 
and the one right next to it, which is right, right here. And then the next two, which are right here. All right. And when you look at the front, you can see where the braid is starting to form. And you'll certainly see that a lot better after the next or the following two rounds. So now we've completed one six stitch cable. Now in between that last stitch and before we work on the new or the next braided cable, right in between those two stitches. So it's in that open space between. We're gonna work three double crochets, just like that. And then we're gonna skip two stitches and we're gonna work back post trebles around the next two stitches as we work the next braid. Again, working in front of those as seen from the front side, we're going to go back and pick up those two stitches. Let me show you what it would look like if you're looking at it from the back. This is the stitch we captured and then this is the next stitch. I'll go ahead and work it this way coming from the back just like this. It may look a little bit tricky but believe me it is not. It's just a matter of understanding where the hook goes before you complete the stitch. And the next two stitches are right here. We don't skip anything before we crochet those. All right, so we have finished the second braid. And again, in between where this braid ends and the next braid begins, we're gonna work three double crochets. These are the increase stitches that we're working. All right, and we're just going to do this for you. I'm going to do it one more time because this is a bit tricky for the first time. Skip the next two stitches. Back post treble around the next two stitches. And I'm just working treble crochets here once I work it around the post. Now working in front of these two stitches as seen from the front side, we're going to come around. This is the front side here. We work this back post. Double crochet. Again, it was around this stitch here. And then I'm going to work the next stitch beside it. I'm going to work it and just show you what you're going to see. So you're going to bring the hook around here. And then we complete that. And again, these last two stitches or crossing over the previous two, and that's what you want to help form this braid. And then the next two stitches, just work back, well, if I can get my hook around the stitch, back, post, treble, crochets. And let's go ahead and do that one again. If you're not happy with the way the stitch looks, it's so nice that crochet is so easy, you can just pull it out and try again. And again, after I complete this six stitch braid, make sure you work the three double crochets in between that last stitch and before you get to the next stitch. Very important increases. Okay, so go ahead and finish this all the way around. I've worked this all the way around and before you join, make sure that we work three more double crochets in between the last braid and the very first braid that we worked. And then I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that first stitch, just like that. And let's turn and take a look at what we have. Let's take a pause here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six braids begun. I know they don't look like braids, but they will soon. And then in between you have three stitches, three, 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 three. 
very important. If you didn't do that, it would probably be pulling tight at this point. So always take the time to either count the stitches, very important on the first few rounds, or do a visual, quick visual check to make sure that it does look reasonable before going forward. All right, so now to begin round six, we're gonna start with the chain three, and we're going to work two double crochets in each of those three double crochets. And again, this is more stitch increases. And just in case I didn't give you, the stitch count at the end of round number five was 54 stitches total. All right, so we're gonna still working on these two double crochets. I'm gonna pause here. So these three double crochets now become six double crochets on round number six. And then we continue with the braided cable. Skip two stitches, front post treble in the next two stitches. And it's easier to see which two that you work each time because they are starting to come together now. Now working in front of those last two stitches, we front post treble in those last two stitches that we skipped. And then we front post treble in the next two stitches, which are kind of hiding behind here. So you need to make sure we don't skip those or your braid will dissolve. It will not look like a braid any longer. All right, so let me go ahead and stop. So now you can see how the braid is coming together. And then we come to those three double crochets, work two double crochets in each. Let's pause and take a look at that. So make sure that you have six stitches where those three stitches were from the previous round. So go ahead and work that all the way around. At the end of round six, we're gonna join with a slip stitch to that first stitch of the round. Let's take a look at what we have. All right, so now we're gonna turn and for round seven, we're gonna chain three and we're going to work braids all the way around this time. Skip the first two stitches and we are working on the established braid here. Back post treble in those next two stitches like we've been doing. And working in front of those sti two last two stitches as seen from the front side, we're gonna back post treble crochet. In those two stitches that we just skipped. And then back post treble in the next two stitches. Now, the six stitches that we've added in, we have enough now to make a braid. And we're gonna do this the same way. Skip the next two stitches, back post treble in those next two stitches. Working in front of those last two stitches as seen from the front side, we're gonna back post treble in those two stitches that we just skipped. Just like that. And then back post treble in the next two stitches. Okay, and then it repeats again. We work the braid, braided cable over the next six stitches and then over the next six, six stitches. And you'll see you're gonna have um, 
we're going to go from having six braids to a total of 12 braids at the end of this round. Your stitch count will remain at 72. 72 stitches was the stitch count of round six, and it will also be the same stitch count of round number seven. So go ahead and finish that round. At the end of this round, we join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. Let's go ahead and turn. So now you should have a total of 12 braids begun. You have the larger braids here, or the ones we began, and then the second set that are starting. Now for round eight, I'm going to start with the chain three. Then we're going to continue with the braided cable, skip two stitches, front, post, treble, and those next two stitches, working in front of those two stitches, we front post treble in those two stitches that we skipped. And then front post treble in the next two stitches, which are going to be hiding a little bit behind the other crossed stitches there. Okay, and just like a few rows back, before we begin the next braided cable, we're going to work three double crochets in between that last stitch and the next stitch. It'll be, like I've said a few times, it'll be right in between those braids as we add those increases in. And then we go to the next braided cable, skip two, front post, treble, etc. Just like we've been working, but I'll work this with you one more time. Working in front of those two stitches, front post, treble, and the two stitches that we skipped. And then front post treble in the next two stitches. And again, just be careful you don't forget the next step, which is working three double crochets in between that last stitch and the next stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and show you what you should have. So go ahead and con continue on and finish round number eight. At the end of round eight, we're going to join with a slip stitch to that first stitch of the round. And let's pause and take a look at what we should have. You should have a total of 108 stitches. And included in that is 12 braids. All right, so now we're going to turn with the back side facing us, chain three. We're going to work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. We're not increasing at this point. Skip the next two stitches as we work these braids, back post, treble in each of the next two stitches. Let's try that one again. And working in front of these two stitches as seen from the front side, back post, treble in the two skipped stitches. and then back post treble in the next two stitches. And again, just one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And this is gonna be your repeat all the way around. And I will show you the join at the end of this round. I'll Go ahead and show you what it looks like from the front side as well. At the end of round nine, we join with a slip stitch to that first stitch of the round, and we still have 108 stitches. And of course, this is the back side. Let's go ahead and turn and look at the front side. Now on to round number 10. We're going to chain three, 
and this is going to be an increase round. Skip those two stitches as we work on the braids, front post treble, and the next two stitches, working in front of those two stitches, front post treble, and the two stitches that we just skipped. And then front post treble in the next two stitches. Okay, so that is what we do over the braids like we've been doing. And when we get to those three double crochets, we're going to work two stitches in each of those stitches. So the three stitches becomes six on this round. So you'll have six stitches in between the braids. Just like that. And so that is the repeat all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have the 12 braids and a total of 144 stitches. This is what you should have after completing 10 rounds. Now we're going to turn and go on to round 11. Now rounds 11 and 12 are going to be very similar. Round 11 will have the back side facing and round 12 will have the front side facing. We're going to chain three and working in those six stitches we're just going to work one double crochet in each of those six stitches. We're not going to be increasing any further in this project. Okay, and then the next thing we have is the braid. We're going to skip two. I'll go ahead and do this for you again. Two back post treble crochets. And then working in front of those last two stitches, we're going to back post treble in the two stitches that we just skipped. And then back post treble in the next two stitches. And that's going to be your repeat. So go ahead and work that all the way around for round 11. And then at the end, you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of this stitch. And then you're going to turn and then you're going to work another round where you work the braided, work over the braided cable using those same skip two, front post treble, etc. And then one stitch in each of the six stitches around. So I'm going to go ahead and give you two uh, two rounds, finish round 11 and then work round 12. You will not be increasing in either of these rounds. You're going to have a constant count of 144 stitches and included in that are the 12 braids. This is what you should have after completing 12 rounds. Don't worry if it's a little bit wavy around the edge. This is all going to start changing after this next round. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn and we're going to work our first decrease round. We start with a chain three and we're going to work decrease or double crochet decreases over the next six stitches. We're going to work three of them and they are worked like this. We wrap the hook, insert into that first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We do that again. Wrap, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. You should have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So you've changed two stitches into one. Let's do that a couple more times. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, 
three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through. Let's do that one more time. Three loops, yarn over, pull through. So now we have three stitches where there were six. Working over the braided part, skip two. We work this just the way we've been working it. Two back post, treble crochets. Working in front of those as seen from the front side, back post into the two stitches that we just skipped. And then we back post treble crochet into the next two stitches. So I'm going to repeat that decrease section just one more time. This again has worked over those six double crochets. Yarn over, pull through three, and we do that two more times. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and we do that again. Yarn over, pull through all three stitches. Just like that. So go ahead and work that around, and this is going to pull this hat inward a bit. So go ahead and finish that and at the end of this round you should be back to 108 stitches still working with those 12 braids. At the end of round 13 we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round which is that first decrease way up there. Let's go ahead and turn and you can see that we're getting kind of a bowl shape after that decrease round. This next round I think is going to uh, further enforce that. So we're going to chain three and we're going to turn to have the front side facing. We're going to work the braid. I'll go ahead and work this with you. Skip two, front post, there we go, front post treble, those next two stitches, working in front of those two stitches, front post treble, and the next, or the two stitches that were skipped, and then we're going to front post treble, and the next two stitches. All right, now we come to those decreases and we're just gonna work double crochets in each of those decreases. Just like that. And then we continue on with a braid and then one double crochet in each of those three stitches that follow. So go ahead and work that all the way around. At the end of round 14, we're going to join with a slip stitch to that first stitch of the round. We're not going to turn at the end of 14, but continue with the right side facing. Okay, for round 15, we're going to chain one. We're going to work single crochets around, and we're going to start out by working single crochet decreases we're going to work three single crochet decreases over each braid as follows. Insert the hook in the first stitch and in the next stitch, yarn over, draw through all three loops. We're going to do that two more times. Insert the hook, pull up a stitch, pull up a stitch in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through all three stitches. Pull up a loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three stitches. Now when we come to the double crochets, we're just going to work a single crochet in each of those stitches. And that's going to be the repeat all the way around. I'll go ahead and do that one more time while working over the braid. Three single crochet decreases. That's one. Two. And 
three and then when we work the over the double crochets we just work single crochets in each of those stitches so again this is another seriously decreasing round so go ahead and work that all the way around at the end of this round you should have 72 stitches total at the end of this round we join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round and just to reiterate you will have 72 stitches now we're going to chain one we're not going to turn and we are going to work a single crochet decrease followed by four single crochets around so we're going to work a decrease and then one single crochet in each of the next four stitches one two three four and then work another single crochet decrease and then single crochet in each of the next four stitches So that is the repeat all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 60 stitches. At the end of round 16, we're going to join with a slip stitch to that first stitch of the round. Again, do not turn, but go on to round 17, where we're going to chain two, and we're going to work a double crochet in each stitch around. Again, the stitch count will remain at 60 stitches in the round. And also let me also mention that the hat should be really curling around like this for you. If not, you probably have too many stitches in the round. At the end of round 17, join with this slip stitch to that first stitch of the round. Again, you have 60 stitches. Now I'm gonna give you uh, an assignment of two rounds, rounds 18 and 19, and they are worked the same way. We begin with the chain two, and we work a front post, double crochet, followed by a back post, double crochet, front post, back post. This is called ribbing. And we're going to work that all the way around. So at the end of this round, we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the first stitch of the round, chain two, and we do it again. Front post, back post, front post, back post, all the way around. And then we are going to fasten off at the end of round 19, and I'll do that with you. At the end of round 19, which is the last round, let's go ahead and join with a slip stitch and go ahead and give it a, a chain and a tug and I'm going to clip a generous thread. So let's go ahead and I want to show you how you can hide this loose strand in case you've not seen this before. This is why you leave a longer strand so that you have something to thread into the needle and we're going to look at the back side of this. And we're going to gently weave them into the threads. Okay. That should be good. Now I like to go in the opposite direction just to help prevent this from pulling out too easily. Okay, and if you wanted to hide it more than that, you can, but I think this is going to be sufficient. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that. And as you can see, I did have to tie in that second hank of yarn just on the last two rounds. I was hoping I could make this a one hank wonder, but we do have to dip into that second ball of yarn. But that's okay, because um, we can always use that for something else. And let me go ahead and show you how this should look on the on the inside and on the top. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed making this beret with me today. And if you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the new designs that I have coming your way. God bless. Bye-bye.